Selected by the athletes and coaches of the team that competed at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games, the U.S. Rowing Female Athlete of the Year is Megan Misnicki, a nine-time national team member, three-time Olympian, and two-time Olympic gold medalist. Ms. Nikki has been a stalwart in the women's eight for three Olympic cycles. After taking some time away following the Rio Games, Ms. Nikki came back in 2019 to help the U.S. eight win bronze at the World Championships and qualify for the Olympics. Ms. Nikki capped off her story career in Tokyo, finishing fourth. Hi, it's me, Megan, but most of you probably know me as Moose. It's pretty strange to accept this award virtually, but nevertheless, it doesn't diminish how humbled and honored I am to be here accepting the award for Female Athlete of the Year. I started training at the Princeton Training Center in 2008. I made my first team and every team thereafter from 2010 through 2016, and then, because I just couldn't get enough, I came back and made the team again in 2019, 20, and 21. Thanks, COVID. To say it was an amazing experience would be a huge understatement. What we do, or rather try to do, is not easy. Being an elite athlete by definition is hard, brutally hard. There are good days and bad days and very bad days, but through it all, you have your teammates and your support system, and I would not be here talking to you today without them, all of them. Thank you to my mom and sister for always lending an ear when I needed it and supporting me even when you thought I was crazy to come back and do it again. To my now husband, thank you for dealing with all of the tears, the laughter, the mood swings, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Thank you for supporting me when I decided just one more year. I love you. To my New Jersey family, the Clockenbrinks, you took me into your home and basically I never left. Seriously, I was there for the better part of 10 years. They fed me, they housed me, they were there when I needed them to listen, and they were there to celebrate even the smallest of victories with me. They are no longer a host family, they're simply family. Thank you to Tom and Laurel for helping to set the bar high. Without a high bar, you don't fail. And without failure, you never learn. And consequently, you never realize how far you truly can go. To Mark, the man, the myth, the legendary PT, thank you. I'm due for another appointment here soon, I think. Thank you to the New York Athletic Club for your support of my training. I wear the winged foot with pride. And last, but most certainly not least, my teammates at the Princeton Training Center. Those that came before me, those that made the team, and the ones that just missed out. You are all incredible women. You showed me what it took to be great. You helped keep me going when it got tough, pushed me to be better, were there to support me on our tough days, and there to celebrate the victories when they happened. I'm pretty sure I'm out of time, but I want to reiterate how humbled I am to receive this award voted on by my peers. Thank you. Go Bombers.